Queensland Aboriginal and Islander Health Council CEO Selwyn Button and National Aboriginal Community Controlled Health Organisation Chair Justin Mohammed say Indigenous health has gone missing during this election campaign. They say the two major parties have been outselling jobs, training and economic development to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. Um, who are the biggest employers of our mob and which, what actual services provides the most beneficial employment and the long-term employment and gains for our communities? And that's actually in the health industry. Um, and that's, a lot of that is through community control services. Selwyn Button says he's looking forward to a debate on health at the National Press Club next Tuesday between Federal Health Minister Tanya Plibersek and Opposition Health Spokesman Peter Dutton. But he says Indigenous health really doesn't need one-upmanship and point scoring by the major parties. What we'd like to hear about, and certainly in the Indigenous health space, the big gains will be made if they can actually agree on um, not only the way that they go about business, but if they can agree on things like quarantining expenditure, if they can agree on making close the gap priorities a continuing commitment, if they can agree on ensuring that those things are going to be protected irrespective of what government's in power. So on Button and his national counterpart Justin Mohammed were also this month appointed to the board of the Lowitcher Institute for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Research. The research agenda over a long period of time, um, up, to, up to recent times, has been shaped um, by universities and have been shaped by institutes and by researchers themselves, but not necessarily shaped for the benefit of community. It's estimated governments in Australia have spent $42 billion more on health this year than a decade ago. David Little, NITV News, Brisbane.